So I joined the uh, U.S. Army in 1984. I, 19 days after graduation, I was in basic training. I did basic training in uh, Alabama, I think. Yeah, Fort McClellan, Alabama, did that. Then I went to advanced training in Huntsville, Alabama. That's where the Space Center is. Did that for a few months. Then I shipped off my first two I mean, was in Korea. I spent a year in Korea. Then I came back to the United States and I went to Fort Bragg, North Carolina for about two years. I went back to Korea, stayed in Korea for about six years, something like that. Got married in Korea, came back, went to Fort Lewis for two years in Washington State, and then we went to Germany for three years, came back to Fort Lewis for a couple of years, and I got it out. So that's a total of 15 years for me. I remember, I remember the first day of basic training. That was just horrible. Everybody yelled at you. You got to get your hair cut. It was run, run, run. Get yelled at, run some more. Be here, be there. Sign this. Take this shot. It was a whirlwind for like two or three days. Didn't get any sleep. Hardly any sleep for three days. And uh, I remember that being like, it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be maybe a little bit more, I don't know, gentle to get in, but it wasn't gentle at all. So I remember that. I remember being <clears throat> my first station in Korea. That was the first time I was really, I mean, away from my family, right? Mm -hmm. in, in basic training, I'm still I'm just a short airplane ride home if I needed to or something, but Oh, well, the other side of the whole world. That was a little scary, right? A little weird. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, overall, though, I remember built there being, for me, a pretty enjoyable experience. There, you know, there's good days, there's bad days, there's things run in seasons. Mm -hmm. But overall, I enjoyed 15 years. Nineteen. I think I graduated 18, 19. Can't remember exactly how old I was. I'm 50 now. Let's go back. So, uh, yeah, right out of graduate. So I graduated high school, went on a camping trip to Montana, came back, got on an airplane. I was in the Army. physical training so you put on your sweats you go out to this big gravel pit <clears throat> and you do all the calisthenics push-ups sit-ups this thing called the dying cockroach where you lay it in your back you put your hands up in the air and your knees up in the air and scream as loud as you can pretty weird and then you go running for about three or four miles five miles it gets longer as you go and after that, it's all pretty much classroom and uh, training. So it's teach you how to march, teach you how to shoot a firearm, shoot you, teach you how to salute. You know, mm -hmm. Every, everything that they uh, need you to do, you know, as a normal soldier. It, it's just training, training, training. <clears throat> and then after that, it's, it's clean, clean, clean. Got to clean your uniform. Got to polish your boots. Clean bunk. It's it doesn't stop until like ten o'clock at night. And then it repeats the next day. Well, I was an ammunition guy. My whole life in the military was around ammunition. <clears throat> sometimes it was inventory, sometimes it was moving stuff, sometimes it was, you know, whatever. <clears throat> um, so my, <clears throat> my first duty station in Korea, it was pretty much get up, Get the uniform on, report in at, you know, whatever time, like 8 o'clock in the morning, 
uh, and then it's do whatever you're told day, right? I was just a young private, so uh, it was do whatever you're told. Some days you were going out um, counting bullets, sometimes you were guarding things, sometimes you were picking up cigarette butts off the ground. It doesn't matter, just, you just do whatever you're told. A place called uh, Taejong, Korea. Taejong, Korea is it's in South Korea. It's north of Seoul, maybe 50 miles from the Dipsy Line. It's a beautiful place where I was at. It's, it's, it's where the Koreans go to have a resort. They ski in the winter. There's lakes in the summer. Mm -hmm. And uh, I spent a year there. It's mostly a helicopter base. So like half of the base was nothing but a, a flight line with helicopters and stuff like that. Um, lots of burning. Lots of that. <laughs> uh, I remember the day I got promoted to uh, specialist, which is an E4. So when you go in the Army, it's E1, E2, E3, E4. Those are all your lower enlisted ranks. So the day that I got promoted to E4, I didn't know. I woke up. It was like every other day, except that this morning, my first sergeant, my commander, woke me up, and they were screaming at me, "Get out of bed! What are you doing in bed? I can't believe it! What's wrong with you?" Blah. Just in my face. I'm like, well, "What did I do wrong? Right? This is a mm -hmm. crazy day." Oh, you have a PT test today. I'm like, huh? nobody told me about a PT test. Well, you're doing a PT test today. You got ten minutes to get ready. Like, okay, so I'm going to do my PT test. It wasn't good enough, so I had to do it again. Every Everywhere I went, people were screaming at me. Then I had like 20 minutes to get a shower and get my uniform on, and they had me do all kinds of crazy, stupid stuff. I had to paint things and clean things, and then they gave me this long chain, like something you'd pull a tank out of the mud with. And it was all rusted, dirty, and they gave me a bucket solvent and a wire brush to clean that chain and that's what i did for four hours clean that stupid chain and then i went to lunch and i came back and someone had tipped over my bucket threw my brush in the gutter and took my chain and run it all the way around the dirt and i had to clean it all over me. and i thought i hate this i hate you i hate everybody i don't want out and then they promoted me that was a hard day but it ended up So when I, when I think back, you know, what do I miss? Mm -hmm. I think, you know, I don't, I miss traveling. I love to travel. So the Army gave me an opportunity to do that. And I miss the camaraderie, you know, the, the fellowship, the you know, hanging out with my guys. You know, some days there's nothing going on, so you just find some place to sneak off and just chill for that day. And you just, that, 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 that sense of uh, brotherhood, I miss that. I like that a lot. So, like, something get really close with, me, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes with officers too, but there's always that distance between the enlisted officers that has to exist. <sighs> but uh. It's, it's kind of weird because there's this there's this saying, there's this philosophy in the military that um, when you move to a new place, when you're, when you're leaving one unit to go to somewhere else, you know, I'm at Fort Lewis, and now I'm going to Germany, okay? It's sort of like, see ya. If I see you later, I see you. If I don't, I don't, right? It's just, that's, you have to have that ability to disconnect and move to a new community at any moment. But while you're there, those people feel like family. You know, there are people, you know, they're, you know, your, your dad is, is my brother. I'm going to tell you, there's, there's some guys I know from the Army that I know a whole lot better than I your dad. And I grew up with him. You know, and it, you get that bond. But then when it's time to move, you got to move. So it's, it's a weird thing. You get really close to people, but you have to be able to 
and cut it off at any moment. 